Well, welcome. I'm Ramon Williamson. In this Tech Tuesday video, Replay Note for the iPad. Replay Note's a simple iPad app available in the App Store that allows you to create a kind of screencast on your iPad. Now, unlike Camtasia for the PC or ScreenFlow for the Mac, Replay Note's not live action video. It's not a live moving video of your screen. What this is is a video of you annotating a picture, a screenshot, text. You can also import a PDF file and annotate the PDF file on the screen as well and capture your voice and video. Now the image here on the left is what the actual software looks like when you launch the app. There is the option to import the various types of uh, elements that you can use from within Replay Note. You can use uh, text like I've done here. You can actually have an image like you see here on the screen and a PDF. You can also change the color of the pin and there's a little green arrow where you can undo things like I just did. You can pause the video. Now I've got to tell you there's no editing so this is a one-off wonder and so you gotta think about what you want to talk about when you start. This is probably my fifth take uh, for this particular video so by now I'm a replay note expert. Okay so when you launch this they're going to ask you there's the option to name it then you can determine the actual size or I'm sorry the background color of the video itself. You can record videos that are up to 10 minutes and there's this preparation feature that allows you to set up the screen to position your images and to put any text that you want on the screen. There's an option in the upper right hand corner of your iPad that will allow you to upload or share the image on YouTube. Now there are a ton of little things that would make this app better. It sells for four dollars and ninety nine cents in the App Store right now it's probably a 99 cent app and if the developer continues to develop it, it could be a very useful tool over time uh, for example one thing that I'd really love is the ability to change the orientation of the photos and images that I bring into it and again I've, I've mentioned to you that you can oh when you get ready to start you click on the start recording. Now let me give you an idea of how this works and use a gesture to go to the next page. Have up to 15 pages in a recording. So you would simply uh, click on the image icon here to the left that will allow you to find an image that you can put on the screen. And this is just a demonstration of what you could do in explaining for example a piece of software or a web page. I actually made this screenshot on my iPad and now I'm simply loading it in. You saw I was able to size it to make it fit. Then I can simply annotate and explain different features. And this is actually a tool, a website called a Buffer App, and it's available at bufferapp.com. I'm probably going to create a video on this. This is a new Twitter tool that I'm checking out. Very useful and interesting way of scheduling uh, tweets. And uh, again, some very, very useful features that are available with this and you can annotate and explain everything and point out how to do stuff and actually write on the screen. Okay, now the writing like a lot of uh, tools where you're writing on the screen, uh, you've really got to take your time and you know use a good uh, good uh, stylus tool to be able to do that. Uh, but it works well. It does uh, what it says and it's a great start for an app. Again, lots of little things that would improve and make this app great. If you're an early adopter and you like playing with leading edge tools like me, then jump on board. Uh, otherwise, watch the app over the next several months. Watch the development track and keep this on your radar. It proved to be a useful app over time. I'm on the lookout and on my wish list is an app like ScreenFlow uh, for the iPad. I don't, I don't know where that fits in or whether or not there are some constraints that prevent that, but that would be a really 
really cool app that I buy immediately. Well, that's all for this video. I'll see you again in an upcoming tool. I'm Ramon Williamson, www.mavenair.com. Take good care.